That is what I hope you do when you're scrolling through your feed and you see this thumbnail pop up. You have to scroll back, take a little bit of a double take because this is episode one of my competition series. So obviously there is a lot of explaining to do, but I'm getting back behind the camera today and what better thing to do if you're making a prep series then we gotta talk about the details, my plan going forward, what am I doing until I have a whole year from now to get ready for this thing, so what am I doing in preparation? But first, what better way to start off a fitness video than with a pre-workout meal? So as far as standard goes, this fits the bill pretty damn well. Just some cream of rice, whey protein, peanut butter, chocolate chips, honey, and the normal works as well as some sodium on top and then eight ounces of orange juice. Now there's a lot of sugar in this meal, I'm gonna be honest with you, but that is because you know it's peak off season time. It's eat as much food as we can mode, as well as being active, super active all day long. I need to get in as many calories as I possibly can. So my sugar intake has went way up because it's just honestly the easiest thing for me to eat. Now as of the filming of this, I don't have an exact exact name of what I want to call this series, but I gotta come up with something creative. I can't just do Road 2 and Vitruvian Physique has already taken Ascension, which I think is an amazing title, but I gotta come up with something else. And when I do, you'll see in the title of this video. But the point of this series is because I've finally decided what my next option, what my next goal, what my next thing to do is in the realm of bodybuilding. And this is gonna be the most brutally honest, transparent series that you've ever seen on this kind of a topic. There are just so many people who make these series that have already like got it made. They've already got all the systems figured out. They've already got the videographer shooting the video. They've got the editor editing the video. They've got an amazing coach behind them. They've got tons of fans behind their backs and possibly they even get to pursue it full time, which is quite the dream if you're trying to do a bodybuilding show. But that is also quite a different reality from what most people are going through when they are pursuing a goal like this. Maybe it's not for any social media gain, but just for an own personal challenge. It is so different and so removed from all these series that you see which is where I come in because I'm gonna show you the grind at a personal level from somebody working a full-time job to being a full-time student with other passions, goals, and interests outside of this and how you can channel that all to achieve a goal. And getting to nationals is no small challenge and that is what I'm gonna be taking on. So if that sounds interesting to you, then I truly hope you suggest to stick around for the next year. And it's crazy, standing up just after filming that clip and thinking about what I just said, in a year from now, I've thought about it every single day since getting off the stage the last time, a year ago, almost today exactly, and I'm thinking about it every single day and planning it out to the dot for a whole year in advance. Just a little taste of what it takes. All right, so now that you've hopefully bought into the idea of what I'm doing, I'm gonna give you a brief rundown of kind of the details that I know right now, so that way you can kind of have a good rough idea of what I'm gonna be doing over the next year. So when is gonna be June to July of 2023. They don't have the exact date of the show set because the last show that happened this year literally happened like two or three weeks ago, so they haven't sorted out those details yet. What is it? It's the MPC Brew City, and it is a national qualifying show. So the reason I chose this show, A, it's a it's a bigger show than I did last year. It's not like a massive MPC show, but it's decently sized. It's a national qualifier, and it's close to home. So I can really get all those variables, because again, when you get into like flying to a show, that can really overcomplicate some things in terms of like how your peak week, how your body adjusts to flying, right? And it can add so many variables. So it's nice and close to home. Goal weight on stage. I want to be 175 to 180 on stage and I want to start prep ideally at 205 to 210. Now, I started prep last year at about one, between 186 and 188, and I ended up on stage at 170. So I was a fairly lean individual before starting prep, and I'm going to be significantly less lean, shall we put it, starting next prep, but that is on purpose because I'm trying to add a lot of weight and try a different strategy this year. I'm still not like super sloppy by any means. I still have outlines of abs, still got vascularity, things like that. So I'm not like going out of control, but I felt like I was a little bit too lean to grow optimally last year. And then prep is probably gonna last three to four months. And I would say definitely on that four month end, which gives me about eight months left of off season, which just seems absolutely crazy to say out loud. And again, the point of this series is to set a goal that just seems so far away and so big and then showing the process of achievement to actually get there. So I'm obviously, if I'm able to make it to nationals, I'm gonna go there and get smoked. But just the experience of going there is gonna be so fun and so memorable and I wanna see if I can do it. Which, for those of you who are not familiar with the MPC, may lead you to ask, well, how do I qualify? So it's similar to the Olympia in regards that if you go to a national level show and you place top five in the open class, you re-qualify for 
Bowl the following year and you're allowed to compete without having to do a regional show, win or place top two in that regional show and come back. Now, if you're not already a national level competitor, you have to get to the national level stage. In order to do that, you need to compete in a national qualifying show and you need to place top two in the open class for that qualification ticket to nationals. Now, here's where I have a little bit of confusion. In bigger classes like Classic Physique, they'll have an open class A, B, C. Because the classes are so big, there's so many competitors, they can't put everybody in one class because you'd have 30 guys in one class. So they split it up against A, B, and C, and it's graded by height. The winner of A, B, and C go at it for the overall, and then I believe the top two out of those three would go to nationals. Now, it might work like that, or the top two in A, the top two in B, and the top two in C all go. I don't think that's very realistic. I don't think that's how it works because that would be a lot of people getting qualified, especially for a division like bikini where there can be as much as four open classes. So you're having eight individuals qualify for nationals. But nonetheless, the goal is to not place top two for my open class. The goal is obviously to place top two for the overall. All right, workout of the day complete. Today was shoulders with a secondary arm session in the week. And right now I'm running mostly a bro split. I know some of you gonna be like, oh my God, a bro split. But this is why some of y'all really need coaches because you don't know how to discern generalized information for like 92.7% of the general public. And like when that stuff doesn't apply, there's specific scenarios and that's where the experience come from. Well, knowing when a bro slit is actually useful over like a push pull legs or a full body. All of these different training styles have merit and they have scenarios where they play out best. But you're gonna have to wait for the next video to drop because I'm gonna be covering that bro split and why I'm using it, why it's effective. Of course, sharing the plan with y'all and kind of breaking it down. I didn't record the workout today because I just wanted to make sure I could film this video all in one day so I can get it going. I'm gonna explain some things when we get back. And to wrap up with this video, enjoying a nice evening out on the balcony. And I just want to say a last couple few things for this first episode. And I know it wasn't exactly super, super engaging. And the other ones are going to be a little bit more vloggy style because honestly, it's the easiest type of video to make. Get a camera and just kind of bring it around with me all day as I talk about whatever it may be that comes up. And expect these videos probably once a month. But honestly, every time I come up with something where it's worthy of making a video that you guys can get some value on, lead with the value, and then kind of throw in that extra information towards the end of the video for those viewers that are really interested in and want to stick around for the whole thing but if I'm being honest I've never felt more confident in my ability now to actually achieve what I'm setting out to do whether that be in bodybuilding in life school money whatever it is I'm feeling very very confident now that I've taken some time to step back and kind of analyze the situation so again if you bought into that idea and that sounds interesting to you I truly hope you stick around for this journey. And of course, as always, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, leave them down below. I hope this first video, we laid the groundwork for an amazing series. Now it's time to see it through. But until next time, again, I hope you were truly able to get something out of this. Make sure you share it with a friend if you did in fact enjoy it. But until next time, get after it.